I think that's the only other announcement. Uh, we are doing a, uh, there is a, a tally, but we're gonna do a double check tally and, and do the announcement on the collection uh, this afternoon. Uh, we do have a book and I'll ask uh, Brother Tracy to, uh, to uh, explain it. He's passed it over. It's from, it's the Occupy magazine. Uh, there's not enough of them, uh, but we, uh, if, if we're fine with it, then uh, we will be, we'll put them two or three or four on each table. And uh, I think they gave us 100, Tony, wasn't it? I, I, think. I, I think it's actually just under 200. Oh, just under 200? Well, yeah. we might be okay then. Sisters and brothers, I know we've heard a lot about the Occupy Nova Scotia movement, which is an incredibly inspiring and important movement. I, I've certainly, uh, not only at the Tent City Encampment of the Grand Parade, but their organizing meetings that took place for weeks beforehand were incredibly inspiring events. Very young folks, um, folks who is as young as 14, 15 years old, with incredibly articulated ideas, able to express themselves in incredible ways. The folks in Halifax, the Nova, uh, Occupy Nova Scotia folks, folks like the folks that you saw here yesterday afternoon and, and many, many others, have done something a little bit different from other occupations that are taking place across the country. I think they're to be commended and applauded for this. They produced a magazine. So it's called Occupy Magazine. We're going to hand out copies. I think there's enough copies for everybody in the room at this moment. Some folks might not get copies. They produced this magazine. They've had it uh, printed um, uh, with no donations coming to the magazine as of yet. Right? So they've, they've gone out on a limb, they've, they've taken collections amongst each other, you know, um, you know, put out everything they could possibly put out to have it printed. Now we've had some discussions, some critiques, and, and I'll be honest about those discussions and critiques of the magazine. There, there are no women's voices in, in the magazine. And we've said that you know, certainly in the labor movement that would not be appropriate and we would like to see any future editions certainly reflect the diversity of their own encampment, um, which certainly has a, a great number of women leaders within their, their own encampment. The, the magazine was not produced at a union shop. We, we want to be, be clear about that and actually there had to be some discussion um, with Rick and the Federation uh, officers about distribution here. And, and they, you know, they acknowledged that and they, they acknowledged the mistake of that and they've said you know, they're certainly committed to having it printed in a union shop and certainly we have union shops uh, here in Halifax Dartmouth including the printers which were recently organized by CEP and they're committed to doing that. They, they actually just didn't understand the process, as they said. But they, um, so with those critiques in mind, we're, I'd like to ask the ushers, if the ushers are here, to distribute uh, these to delegates before they leave uh, the room or as they're leaving the room. Um, folks should seriously consider, I know you've given contributions individually, folks should seriously consider going back to the union locals, thinking about if there's anything else that can be done to support these folks, including the support of the production of additional copies of this magazine. They've gone about $2,500 between the occupiers who are down there. There are 76 tents that were down there last night at 10 o'clock. 76 tents. So they've gone about $2,500 in on the production cost of this magazine. These are the last copies left um, anywhere in the city. They're not in somebody's hands. So if I could ask the ushers to take these and uh, distribute, I'll distribute to the head table. Back into resolution. So uh, if, that, if that's agreeable, uh, the other thing I do want to uh, quickly uh, tell you is that the, the floor gathered, uh, in, you donated uh, 1,866. And for, to, to double, uh, with, with our doubling or matching it, comes out to 3732, and we're going to round that to the 4,000. In, in addition to that, in pledges that have come in that are going to be uh, going uh, to the occupation was another $1,000, so there's $5,000 raised today. Thank you so much.